Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is part 1 of Power BI projects. So basically what we are going to do in this video, we just want to create this beautiful dashboard and in this dashboard we will analyze about the corona cases. So basically nowadays you know coronavirus is gonna affect for each and every individual's life. So what I was thinking to create a beautiful dashboard where in a single place we can get the many more information which is required to us that's why i have created this beautiful dashboard here we can get the information which is required to us for example in the left side in the top we can see the country so it is acting as a filter which is in the power base called as slicer then total number of cases active cases total death total recover and serious cases so if we want to select only for Afghanistan, then it will be filtered and in Afghanistan we can see total cases is 24, active cases is 23 and recovered is 1. So this is working like this. After that go to on percentage category wise. So here total recovered cases 33.03%, after that active cases is 62.85%, then total death as we can see 4.13%. In the down, we can see the top 5 countries by active cases. So, in the active cases, Italy is on the top, after that Germany, then Spain, then Iran, then China. In the right side, we can see the total cases, active cases, new cases and serious and critical cases. So, this is very beautiful dashboard, I guess, and this is very simple to create. So, how we can create it? So, go to on Power BI desktop in the blank. So this is the blank one here we will create from scratch. So press the like button for this video and do subscribe our channel if you like it and please share it to others. So what is our source? So I want to get the data from a web source and here we are having this website which is wordometer.info slash coronavirus. So here as we can see if we gonna talk then it website likes this here go to on the down scroll down and here we can see this table this table is required for our project here we can see the country then the total cases new cases total death new death total recovered active cases serious critical so these informations are required to us so basically how we can load this into our power bay desktop so just copy this link go to on power bay desktop and here get data and select the web after that we need to wait few seconds here paste that url and click on ok now it will take few seconds so we need to wait until it will not gonna be complete so it is connecting basically it's gonna connect with our website so it will take few seconds you need to wait until it will not gonna be complete so here navigator is gonna opening now here this is the table view if you will move to the web view then that will have the web view just click on it and this is the web view so basically what we want go to on table one and go to on table view in the table view as we can see we are having the same table as we were seen in the website so this is required so just select that one and click on load so it will directly load into power bi desktop and it will not gonna edit inside the query editor so it will load so here as you can see table 1 is loaded successfully now first we need to add a slicer to filter out for the countries so here go to on this and click on this slicer and just bigger this one and what would be the values so values would be the country and others so we can drag and drop this country and others inside the fields so now here it will wait few seconds and now we can see we are having this slicer so now it's good but you know the design is not good for us so what we need to do go to on the format and here go to on the items and now we need to increase the size for that so text size should be increased and it should be told so that may looks good now it's better if you wanna increase more then we can increase and here we can select the font family so what i would prefer to use the arial 
so we can select this aerial uh, go to down and now we can click on this now we can select this aerial so now it looks good to me and here what we want to do in the top that is the title so it should be highlighted so how we can do that go to the format and here you scroll it open the title and here we can write anything which we want so i want to write country and go down what of the font and background color so we can change the background color according to our requirement and our font it should be white now it looks good and alignment should be center and here you want to increase the size so we can also do that now it looks good but here country and others so it shouldn't be here so how we can remove that one so for that we can see slicer header so we can click on this so that is gone now it is good after that as i told you we are having few measures that will be capturing the total total number of cases active cases and many more information so for that we need to select the cards so here go to on the cards and here we are having two type of cards cards and multi row cards so we are required only cards after that put it smaller after that here what we want to display the total cases so here we are having this total cases so we just need to drag and drop inside the fields now it looks good but what we want we just want to have the total values not values in the thousands so go to on the format and we need to set the format for this and in the data level scroll down and here we can see display unit it should be none so now this is the total cases but here you know this figure is not seems good why we are not getting this figure good because go to on the website here at the bottom as we can see we are having this total so this total shouldn't be there because if we will add this total so this will be double so go to on power bi desktop and here click on query editor and here we need to filter out for the total so go to on this country and let me filter out for the total so we can scroll down and we need to get the total and it shouldn't be the part of our query so we can click on ok so it will be filtered now we can click on close and apply so this figure will looks good and correct so we need to wait now it looks good now what we need to do here go to on the format and here scroll down in the title we just want to display the title as total cases so we can write this total cases and what else we need to do we just put it in center and what would be the background so background will be the custom and here let me select ff6600 and now go to on back and here go to on the font color it should be white so we can select the white now it looks good and if we can put it bigger then here we can see the total cases but we don't want to display that one so go to on the format again now go to on categories in the categories it should be off now it looks good and we can put it smaller and we can increase the size as well if we want so size is 45 so let me increase to i guess 50 that looks good now we can set the background for this so here we can search for the background just close it and here we have background color as of now it's white so we can change it according to our requirement so now it looks good so this is the first part we did in the second part we just copy it and paste it and just put after this and this will be the 
active cases so we can put it active cases over here and go to on the format then go to on the title just need to change these total cases to active cases after that we need to copy one more time and paste and it should be the total depth so here we can see the depth we can drag and drop if we click over here sorry let me drag and drop total cases and if we click over here then we can see it is sum if we want to use the aggregate minimum maximum count listing down count then we can do this but our requirement is to summarize that one this is the that so we can go to the title and let me change this as that next will be the total recover so we can copy paste and put it right side and let me drag and drop the total recovered that should be over here and let me drag and drop and go to on the format and let me change this title as total recover now we need to add one more card so we need to put it smaller than active code it should be smaller like this and put it left side then total that is should be smaller put it left then total recover it should also be smaller and put it left and here we need to add one more and that will display the total critical cases so we can drag and drop the total critical cases and put it here and here go to the title just need to change this title so this title should be serious cases now it looks good and first part we did second what we need to do we need to add a donut chart over here and that will display the percentage of active cases death and recovered so for that here go to on this visualizations and let me click on this donut chart and put it smaller and bigger from right side so next what we need to do we need to drag and drop this active cases inside the values next we need to drag and drop the total death inside the values and we need to again drag and drop total recovered inside the values now it looks good but what we need to do we need to do one more thing like we just want to get the percentage we don't want the exact value so how we can do that so go to on the format and here we are having all these options first is data color so let me change this data color total depth is should be red so click on this go to on custom color and here we can select the red after that it is the total recovered so total recovered should be green so we can click on this and we can click on this green so it's a light green and this is the total active cases so we can put it as blue so it may be the dark blue so now it looks good next thing what we need to do we just want to display the percentage so go to on data labels and here we are having the option to display what we want to display so here we can say the label style so in the label style we just want to display the category and percentage of total so it looks like this but we just want to display the percentage so we can click on percentage of total so now it looks good next we just want to put the border for this and title so click on format and go to on border and enable the border then go to on title and in the title what we want to display percentage category wise so we can put percentage category wise 
now go to on down and here we can select the background color so it should be like this we can select the font color let me put it white after that alignment should be center so now it looks good and next what we want to do we just want to display top five active cases by country wise so how we can do that so for that we want to display a column chart so go to on this and click on this column chart next we just want to display the top five country so here go to on the countries and let me drag and drop with the axis after that go to on the total active cases and let me drag and drop inside the values so here we are having all these countries but what we wanna do we just wanna use only top five countries so how we can do that so go to on the filter and here let me add a filter for this country and so it should be top n and number is 5 and what would be the value value is the total active cases and click on apply now it will be changed and now we can see italy us germany spain and france now what next we need to do go to on format and here we can change the format as we want so first go to on data colors in the data color we can see its default value we can click on this so all and if we want then we can change it according to our requirement for italy like its top so we can put it as red in us it's a second top so we can put another color after that we can put one more color so we can we can change as we want to change it so let me change for for France, it looks good. Now, close this data color. Now, go to on data labels. So, if you want to turn on, then we can see the exact values. So, here 43,000, 24,000, 22,000, and 22,000, and 12,000. That looks good. Now, scroll down and go to on title. So, here, let me change this title as top 5 countries by active cases now scroll down and let me put at center and what would be the background background should be like this and what would be the font color it should be white no it not looks good so we can change it to dark blue that may looks good now it looks good after that what we need to do we need to hide this active cases and country others so this is not required to us so how we can do that go to on the format and here let me open the y-axis and scroll down in the title we can put it off so that is gone after that we can close this y-axis and go to on x-axis in the x-axis let me scroll down and here we can see this title so we can turn it off after that we can go to on the borders and turn on the border so now it looks good so we made a great progress as yet so next we need to add a bar chart so i want to use this bar chart now let me bigger this one and let me go back and bigger that one after that here as we can see we are having the axis so in the axis it, it should have the data in the country wise so we can drag and drop this country after that we just want to display the total cases first so we can drag and drop inside the values then the active cases so we can drag and drop the active cases after that i want to add new cases so we can drag and drop this new cases over here then we need to add the and critical cases so we can drag and drop the serious and critical cases inside the values now it looks good if we want to change the color then we can now go to on format and here after that go to on the y-axis and here as i told you we don't want to display this country and others so we need to 
turn off the title so it will be gone now it looks good go to on the x-axis and this active case total case will be gone after turning off the title so we can turn off this title now it looks good next what we want to do we just want to change the color for this so go to on data colors over here so let me put it down and here we have data colors so in the data colors as i told you in the serious and critical it should be red so we can put it as red and in the new cases it will be it looks good in the active cases it is good and in the total cases it is good so now we can see we are having all these after that we can see here we have total cases active cases new cases and serious critical and other so this title shouldn't be here and we are not required to have this so go to on the title and turn it off so now it is good now what next we need to do so here as you can see we are having all these values but the slicer it looks bigger so we can put it as smaller like this or it may be like that next we want to put it in the left side so we can select all these and go to on left side after that let me put these two visualizations in the left side and we want to make it bigger and here as you can see we don't have turn it on border for the visualization so we can go to on format and try to on the border for this and go to on this total cases here again we need to turn on the border let me use this format and paste it here let me use this format for this paste it here one more time and the last time now it may be bigger and put it right side and total cases it should be on the right side so it will have the spaces between these cards so i hope so i hope we have made a great progress and we have almost completed our project and here let me bigger this one and now we can see it is on the top if we want to decrease the size then we can also do that now we can see it is almost the same as we seen in the earlier so go to on that one and we'll try to compare so this is that one and here we have made this one so this is almost the same little bit formatting are required over here so you can make that formatting and this is very simple task board but if we want to check the values then we can one thing I missed over here, like in the country, we don't have the values for the select all. So go to on the visualization and go to on this format. Now in the selection control, it should be select all option. Now minimize this and now let me select all this. Now let me check for few values. For example, I need to check the Italy first because it is on the top. So scroll down. Italy. now we can get and here these values are gonna change but in the earlier it was not gonna change only only these cards were changing and this category wise values were changing but these two visualizations were not gonna be changed so how we can revoke to change these values so for that let me on this and let me select that one go to on format and here edit interactions it is selected and we don't want to filter this one so we can disable that one in this we can disable the rest we want so that is good now we can minimize this now it is working fine now let me select for Italy and try to check one more time so here scroll down go to down and here Italy is already selected so values are gonna 53,000 the total cases in the Italy and active cases is 42,681 so this is very big number and then 4825 
so this is very crucial and very sensitive and let me check for india so here we can select this india the total case size is 332 and active case size is 304 after that here we can see the interaction so go to on format and click on this it will not be displayed now in the india we can see that 332 304 5 is there total recover is 23 and serious and cases is blank so this is what we are having as of now and this is not in the format so what we can do we can increase the size of this now oh, it looks good after that we just want to check for iran so we can click on iran or in the era after that we can check for iran so we can click on this here we can see 20610 so this is very big in the number now let me check for us so go to on the down and here let me check for us so in the year 24204 this is very big number and active cases is 23000 death is 302 and total recover is 176 so the recovery is very less in the numbers after that let me check for uk so in the uk is 5018 let me check for ua so total cases is 153 and death is 2 and now go to on top and let me check for few more and here we have pakistan so we'll let me check for pakistan so 645 active cases is 623 total death is 3 and total recovery is 13. now go to on top side and let me try to check few more and here let me check for france so in the france we can see 14459 total cases 123 one zero is the active cases now go to on the top and let me check out for a few more let me check for australia so this is 1072 active cases is 1019 so this is very big in the number now go to on the top so i guess we are in the top let me check for bangladesh last so in the bangladesh 24 total cases 19 is active 2 is death and total recovery is 3 and we can check all these values and here italy then us then germany then spain then france and in the active cases we are having all these so i hope you have understand how we can create these beautiful visualizations in the simple way so i have explained from scratch to end so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos thank you so much guys see you in next video